Welcome back. That was a double shot of cash. Uh, we had a text challenge come in for Heather Marie Yoakum. Last week she had mentioned being a San Antonio Yoakum on the air. I said I love the San Antonio Spurs, and then I know this goes out to Pacers land. Well, I'll be gone. So the text challenge was for San Antonio Yoakum. And if you again, you want to send us a text, 717-6055, 765-717-6055. And you can uh, send a request, a challenge, a love note to Yoakum, uh, late night calls. This one doesn't sound like. So it says, I got 10 bucks to bet that San Antonio Yoakum can't name the colleges Robinson and Duncan, the Twin Towers, graduated from without looking it up. I've been setting beside her, but she's been on the interweb now. Come I've on, this distracted. one is easy, Yoke. Wake Forest. Fish, is that... Are you saying it no? It is Wake Forest. Yes, no. It is Wake Forest. Fish sat down. We're, we're trying to record a radio Forest. show. It is not or it is? It is. Listeners out there were asking for your feedback. It is Wake Forest. Heather Marie Yoakum says it is Wake Forest, the Twin Towers. Studied psychology, which is why he's so good with his moves, and he makes no facial expressions because he doesn't want the other players to know what he's thinking. I so didn't like want you, you to get that right, but you got it right. Congratulations. Thank you. We also had a text request come in for W.C. McCall. Is that right, Josh? Uh, C.W. McCall. C.W. McCall. Roses for Mama, I believe. I listened to that the first time the other day. It's really, really not a bad song. Kind of brings a tear to your eye, man. It's not bad. When we looked at the uh, number, you said it could possibly be your dad that sent the request. It's very, very possible. I mean, I don't recognize his number because his speed dial is like four on my cell phone. So, I mean, it's possible. And, Yoko, it was actually my dad that sent you the, uh, oh. the challenge on. The <laughs> hey, dads. He owes $10. You owe me $10. <laughs> That, that'll get you five whiskey and Cokes on a Tuesday night. And still leave you a dollar tip, won't it, Yoakum? Yes. Let's, uh, again, we're sitting with our friends Adam Kuhn and the Cardboard Cutouts. We got a couple tunes of theirs here. We talk, You got a new album coming out, first of the year. Yeah, on Glory Hole Records. You, um, gonna be really, you're from Indianapolis, is that correct? Yeah. You live in Indianapolis? Living in Fountain Square. Yeah, down that area? Yeah. I was down there, and we talked last night about Radio Radio. We had an interesting story about Justin Towns Earl. I know some of you real country radio fans out there, friends or uh, fans of the Justin Towns Earl, Steve Earl's son. But we maybe ought to leave that one in the bag, huh? Yeah, it was pretty impressive. I was walking down the alley when it was happening. Really? Yeah. We'll see if we can look up some Justin Towns Earl. Maybe do a Steve Earl and Justin Towns Earl together back to back. Oh, that'd be good. Let's do a tune of yours here. This new album, you said, we talked about it a lot last night. They were in town also, joined us last night. And you said that this was kind of a departure from the indie sound and it's a true honky-tonk record. Yeah, your... just trying to get it back to the roots and not focus on what sells. Certainly old country does not sell the most. I will no. give you that. <laughs> I keep waiting on my royalty check, but it's not come in yet. I think Yoakum's been checking the mailbox. Your dad owes me ten bucks. Ten dollars. I be want t- my ten dollars. That'd be ten more than we got from the uh, the royalty checks. That's not true. I got eleven dollars and eighty-two cents from iTunes once. <laughs> Heather, Heather, that was a fantastic uh, callback to. Uh, I just know awesome what I'm movie. talking about. What you said? Uh, I want my ten dollars. Don't give me props. I just know things. Right. Right. Better Off Dead is where that movie come I from. I know where that came I want my $2. Yeah, I know. I was just saying it for the fans. Hey, enough's enough, you two <laughs> weirdos. We try to run a radio show here. <laughs> what you got there? Adam, what, uh, tell us a little bit about the, the first song here. Which one's first? <laughs> Who's on third? <laughs> What's on second? That never What's gets on old. Second? <laughs> what you got, yo? Other than a uh, case of the heebie-jeebies. So you have a name for the album yet, Adam? I haven't decided. At first, I wanted to call it a little bit of everything, but nothing important. But uh, that doesn't really make sense. But <laughs> it'll probably be that. He has a hard time naming song titles as well. Yeah, how, do just, you, uh, how do you name a song generally? 
whatever word I say the most in it, that <laughs> phrase, I'm like, no, that's the name. We, we uh, come out, my favorite uh, tune of Adam is a tune called Butterflies we were talking about last night. We'll come back and do, uh, Andrew, are you going to do that one first? Yeah, we'll play that one. There you go, Yoke. Yoke is the voice of reason. So Butterflies is an old tune, right, Adam? Yeah, I wrote it about five years ago in Fountain Square, the first day I moved there. And um, I just remember I was sitting on my couch. I didn't have a TV, and I missed my mom. Yeah, it's a very touching. We talk about this, a lot of your uh, songs seem to have a family. Yeah, I, they are very family person oriented. And so I like to sing about them and tell them I miss them. If that ain't country, I'll kiss here. <laughs> we better play the song, Yoke, before I get in trouble. Hello? I was born on the 30th day of May Under a covered sun Something had stolen all the light As it pulled me from my mother's warm womb They say if I native I'd be Something a greater importance Perhaps a healing man of some sort But I was born a Caucasian The doctor came in, he said, excuse me, miss, I regret to inform you of this, but your son is stain the color of piss, when she'd already lost one of her kids. Back when my father was a younger man Providing protection through power He went to jail for what his brother had done So my mother moved herself down to the bayou When I was around the age of nine My mother decided to leave her husband She said he's a man of many plans Just none of which he ever seems to get done When I thank God no one picked up no gun They decided to have a little fun But it was around the time I should have felt fine But it's when I first lost the desire To be alive 